this tends to be a very frustrating experience for those who are spending tens of thousands of dollars on a brand new addition or a large addition to an old neighbor existing house. Uh, and that, that happens uh, more often than you think. And builders uh, and remodelers do a great job at trying to prevent this, but the real core of the issue is that you have an old transition to a new transition. Uh, most often you have a concrete, existing concrete foundation uh, that has uh, been in place for, for years or decades, and there's an addition that's put on there. Now that existing concrete is, uh, is not fully cured, uh, has a much lower moisture content than brand new green concrete. And they pour right up against there, they form it up, they usually tie it in with rebar reinforcement, and really good remodelers and builders will actually put a sealant um, against the old foundation so that it actually will provide some level of moisture intrusion. Now the biggest challenge is that old to new transition. And now you have two separate foundations that during expansion and contraction are going to move just slightly separately from each other. It's very similar to a concrete wall crack, except it's man-made where you have a perfect seam on both sides. And in fact, in a lot of ways, it's actually a more challenging area to keep waterproof because you have a very flat surface and a very flat surface married together versus a concrete crack, which has zigs and zags in there and it has more surface areas. So you actually have more ability to kind of grip on and have a waterproofing material stay tight there. So during these additions and when these uh, things will leak, unfortunately, uh, the only way to deal with this is to either dig out the foundation and try to retar the outside but unfortunately that tarring is not going to move with that foundation expansion and contraction. So often what we're going to do there is we're going to drill into that foundation where they meet every you know four to six inches from the top to the bottom and then we're going to inject our closed cell polymer resin material and that'll bind both sides of that concrete together more pure than the actual just concrete to concrete transition. And this will then fill all the way out to the soil all the way top to bottom binding it together and then waterproofing it from the inside out. Most foundations that are going to be existing to new will be done very well because they're going to be looked at with permitting and there's going to be excavation site work that's going to be done. So the movement is very slight. So this is actually a very good application to improve with the waterproofing injection. A lot of people will actually preemptively waterproof this with our method just so that they don't have to deal with the headache after the fact if they go to and finish the foundation or finish the basement area. So if you're building a house or you're looking at a house that has an addition, uh, look very closely at that transition because a lot of times this is a point of leak and whether it leaks currently or it's going to leak in the future generally it will happen because that uh, connection point is imperfect so it's a good preventative during the process it's cheap money over the whole uh, scope of a project and if you're looking at a house that has these it's a good way to, to preventatively put it in there so you don't have any water issues down the line though so it's a very easy repair it's pretty common um, and it's something that we can do and warranty.